well-balanced and elegant sound. Yamaha AX 2000 230,000 yen. This is the third model following the A 2000 A, and the major differences are the design color tone of the panel and the inclusion of a built-in DAC, but there are also differences in the amplifier itself. Actual weight, 27.6 kilograms. The 2000A was a bonnet type with an integrated wood side and aluminum top, but this model has a three-part aluminum top that weighs a total of 820G, and the wood side panels are angled for installation and weigh 1040G each. Total weight as a bonnet is 2.9 kilograms. This top squeals more easily than the 2000A. The bottom is 1.6 mm thick steel plate 1820G. The legs are molded and aluminum and weigh 28G. The volume knob is solid aluminum and weighs 100G. In the 2000A, only the phono and CD were gold-plated, but in this model, all pin jacks are gold-plated and are of a higher quality. The internal layout is a symmetrical construction centered around the power supply. The double-sided copper-plated frame is vertical and horizontal, making it very strong. The power transformer is included in a case, and the case size is 150 by 130 by 105 mm. Power capacity for 20VA, filter capacitor is 75V 27000 UF Phi 76 x 100 mm x2. Both the layout and power supply are quite different from the 2000A. The heatsink has a base of 5 mm thickness and fins of 16 comb-shaped fins of 3 to 2 mm thickness, with two independent LRs. The transistor mounting area is made by stacking 210 by 25 by 10 mm aluminum blocks to a thickness of 15 mm, increasing efficiency and reducing temperature unevenness. Screams are well suppressed. The power amplifier is called HCAA class. The 2000A was a pure A class dual amplifier with a bridge connection of a low output A class amplifier and a high output AB class amplifier, but this unit is a normal amplifier. However, it uses class A operation using hyperbolic transformation developed for the MX-10000, which means that it has good linearity even with small or large inputs. The preamp section has three visual systems and is also compatible with AV, and the phono has independent equalizers for MM and MC, which is different from the head amplifier type 2000A. The DAC is an 8x oversampling 18-bit 2 DAC equivalent to the CDX-2000. The output of the DAC is normally 2V, and when you turn on the digital direct switch, it increases to 7.5V, allowing you to skip the flat amplifier and connect it directly to the power amplifier. This is an idea. Although the circuit is different, the sound is similar to the 2000A, with a well-balanced and elegant sound, and the power and thickness of the mid-low range exceeds the 2000A. Overall, the expression is not vivid or frightening, but rather restrained, and although the sound field is not very spacious in three dimensions, it is dense and suitable for symphonies and operas. The quality of the DAC is good, and the sound especially when played directly with power connection is excellent. I can't help but feel like this is the first time I've been able to take advantage of the benefits of having a built-in DAC. The A2000 became the 2000A, and with the addition of a DAC it became the AX2000. Although the exterior design is the same, the finish is titanium color, so the impression is quite different. The size and depth have increased slightly, and the weight has increased by 2 kilograms. The 2000 a shares the same concepts as the 2000A, including Yamaha's proprietary power stage of a hyperbolic conversion pure class A amplifier developed for the MX-10000, and a powerful power supply, but the overall quality has been significantly improved by reviewing every detail. 
Incorporating a top-class DAC with 8x oversampling, 1-bit, and 2-DAC, it is completely digitally compatible with two optical systems and four coaxial systems. Furthermore, since it has three visual systems, it is fully compatible with AV, so it can truly be called a futuristic amplifier. The number of integrated models with built-in DAC has increased, but this model has outstanding features. The first is the state-of-the-art 8x 18-bit DAC. The analog filter must be able to be turned on and off. Second, in addition to normal operation, turn on the switch called Digital Direct. The DAC output rises to 7.5V plus 11.5 dB, bypassing the flat amplifier 11.5 dB and connecting directly to the main amplifier. Yamaha Class A amplifiers since the A2000 have become well established and are known for their thick, spacious, rich, supple sound. The sound field is not the type that is scattered too much, but gives a sense of natural spaciousness and depth. Phono continues to advance with the A2000, 2000A, and this unit, and is fully capable of competing with CDs. After all, the key point is the filter-off, digital direct sound, which shows a slightly different level of freshness. Yamaha creates Yamaha. Yamaha ship. It makes me feel like we are entering the era of amplifiers again. The amplifier has a built-in D slash a converter. What audio meaning does this have, and what audio results will it produce? Yamaha uses a unique approach to clarify the future of the newly budding digital interface amplifier. Yamaha's unique digital direct function achieves a high S slash N of 128 dB at an actual volume level of around minus 22 dB. 7.5V high level D slash A output made possible by the built-in D slash A converter. A simple and straightforward amplification system consisting only of a high performance active volume and power amplifier that receives this. The method of optimizing the gain distribution within the amplifier has made it possible to reproduce advanced digital sources that are transmitted directly to the speakers without any reduction in the quality of the digital source even at the actual volume level. The featured D slash a converter unit is also fully equipped with a high bit system 8FSX 18 bit digital filter, 18 bit operation twin D slash a converter. Furthermore, it features a copper plated chassis, a 150WX26 ohms HCA power amplifier with a left right symmetrical configuration, and an independent MC slash MM phono EQ all emphasizing Yamaha ship.